Hello YouTube and welcome. The time has finally come to show you in more details the brand new Parkside Performance Rotary Tool. First, the machine is not yet released to the market, so don't ask me about its price. Second, I have only the body, but most likely it will come with a variety of accessories. Unfortunately, I don't have information about them. You can clearly see that the machine shares a similar body design with its 12 volts rechargeable predecessor and with its 160 watts corded Big Brother. In contrast to its predecessors, the machine is equipped with a brushless motor and a membrane button for regulating the speed. The speed is ranging from 5000 up to 32000 RPMs. As goes for the membrane button, Parkside is using one really shitty glue and it's advisable when you get your machine to firmly press the membrane so it can make a better adhesion. You can use the speed selector regardless of whether the machine is on or off. Similar to all other rotary tools on the market, it has a removable cap which the user can unscrew and later attach a variety of accessories. But surprise motherfuckers, Parkside designed the new machine with a different thread size. Which brings me to what I said in the beginning of the video, the machine must come with a variety of accessories. But the really annoying part is that you won't be able to use those Parkside branded attachments. Let me demonstrate you. It will start screwing, but you won't be able to screw it any further. You can see the difference. Most likely Parkside will produce similar attachments branded Parkside Performance, but with this thread size. With the smallest 2 amps hour battery, the machine weights only 561 grams. If you're planning to use it with the 4 amps hour, it's nearly 800 grams. The internals of the machine and the first thing that catches my eye and makes me a great impression is how Parkside redesigned the spindle lock mechanism. A great improvement here. When the machine is running, the user cannot engage the spindle lock. In order to use it, the machine should be off. I had so much headaches with the green model and its spindle locking button, but now I'm sure this is built to last. As goes for the other parts, only time will show their quality. Finally, let's perform a field test with the hardest thing for such machine, cutting. I think this is one or maybe one and a half millimeter thick. The machine is set on speed level one.
After doing several cuts, I can confirm the machine is a real beastie. You won't feel lack of power. But as all rotary tools, pay attention to your safety. Those discs are really fragile. I think this covers the machine in depth enough. Still wondering how much it will cost, but I'm pretty sure soon enough we'll find out. So much for this video. If you have some questions, use the comment section below. Bye and see you soon.